All right, so we're gonna be opening up a XMID one. I'm thinking this is what it is. The package is kind of iffy because it's not in a box. It's in a bag, but I'm thinking this is what it is. So we're gonna check it out and see what we get. Here we go. Here is the bag. It's pretty small. I mean, this is my bag. So we're gonna open this baby up, see what's inside. And yeah, here we go. So I have opened it so I do know inside, there it is. This thing is super, super tiny and light. There it is. This is a regular pair of scissors. So it is teeny, teeny, tiny. I have tiny hands. And this is the pen. All right, it's getting dark. Maybe I can set it up? All right, so now that we've unbagged it, we're gonna set it up. Hopefully, it'll be what, exactly what I needed. Um, something light, and we're gonna set it up and see how it goes. Here we go. I got it all set up. I did use all eight stakes that were supplied. Uh, I have one on the door, each corner, and then the top and bottom of it. I have vented this side, and then I vented this side as well. As you saw before, I did pull that back and use the toggles. To hold this up, here's the loop here, and then the toggle is here that holds that back. So as the one person, you can see it starts at this head on this corner and goes to the far corner over here, which then makes a very wide vestibule out here. 
Now, the one thing that I noticed about the X-Mid 2 and the X-Mid 1, there is not a loop on the X-Mid 1 here that my trekking pole goes into. Whereas the two person, there is. So we're gonna unzip this up, which is awesome. It is smaller than my other tent, that is for sure, but it is lighter. Close this up, there we go. I do like, we do have like a little pocket up here. The X-Mid 2 has pockets down lower, which I wish they had that down there. I do have lots of room. The headroom, I am 5'3", and the headroom is crazy nuts. I mean, I have tons of room, so I'm just teeny. So laying out on this thing, I have room down at my feet, and I have room up at my head. So it should be, I should do pretty good here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I could get gear. I could sleep more at the top and put gear down at my bottom if I wanted to. But the vestibules are huge. So we're gonna pull this up, unzip this again. Zip this down. For comparison, these are my shoes. Before, my shoes barely made it. I had a Land Sean 2, it's a mirror, two-person tent, and my shoes barely fit in that little vestibule, and that's what it was. My little Z seat, this is gargantuan over here. You check this out. Those are my shoes. I think I could probably figure out a way to jimmy rig my pack. Hang my pack from a carabiner hanging down totally would work on either side. So I have a huge vestibule on both sides. I could cook out here in this little area if I wanted to, if for some reason it rained. So yeah, I think it's great. It's, it's definitely smaller than my Lanshan 2. I do have the two-person tent. It is a larger area coverage, footprint coverage area, and I will get a Tyvex here. It is hooked to the rainfly, so it is not a one. It is, it's two people, it's a two shelter. It's got two layers to it. There's lots of clearance here. You hook it up to the buckle right there. And then I have D ring buckles on each corner. So if it's raining, I literally could unhook everything pack everything up in here and then take the rain fly and put that, take it down and put that on the outside of my pack. I'm really, really happy with this. It is smaller and I think I'm gonna like that better than what I had before. So, yeah. This is the X-Mid one person tent. It's pretty stinking awesome. I I think I'm gonna like it. I think it's gonna do great out on the trail. I like that I don't have a lot of guy lines. I do have guy lines attached if I do wanna stretch it out for more stability if there's high winds, but this goes really down low, down to the ground. I did have problems with my Lanshan when it rained because it was so close here that the rain would sp uh, sprinkle up on two the really bad storm that I had, it go through the mesh. And because it was so close, this is so far away from me. I don't even see myself getting wet from splatters from coming up from the bottom. So win-win, yeah, super excited. 31.5 uh, on my kitchen scale, that's with the stakes. So yeah, pretty good weight. The other, my Lanshan 2 was 43 ounces. So we're taking off a good 
10, 11 ounces for this tin. So that's, that is excellent for me. That's like a pound. It is a pound. It's about a pound that I took down. So I'm going to get a Tyvex bottom to put, to protect the bottom here, even though it is a 20. So yeah, it should be really good. I'm excited.